Hey guys, 27 Timmy here. I'm coming to you with a little bit of a bag update, um, a little bit of disc golf update, a little bit of business update, um, just a bunch of updates. Um, two things. I've got an order of discs coming right now. I ordered it, I believe, on Monday, which was yesterday, uh, or maybe Sunday. Maybe it was Sunday. I can't remember. I'm on dynamicdiscs.com. Or actually on .net. .net is their store. .com is their website about their company. Um, I ordered five discs. Um, if you guys can guess one or both of the discs that I'm getting, um, I will figure something out for you guys. Maybe a little giveaway. Um, if you get it right, I'll give you a free mini. Uh, if you get one of them right, if you get both of them right possibly a free disc. Um, I will say I'm getting two items. Let's see. I'm going to try to put this broad enough so that you guys don't just get a giveaway, but I'm going to try to give you a little bit of detail so it's not like... Uh. Alright, so I'm getting a misprint and I'm getting a... I guess you could say limited run disc um, I only got two molds um, if you can figure out like the exact specifics of how many of each mold I'm getting I will give you a free disc if you guys can figure out the discs I'm getting or a disc that I'm getting um, I, I'll possibly think about getting a mini sent to you um, that's the other news I've got my company stamped minis um, I'll be ordering them this weekend I'm super excited found a company that's willing to uh, stamp them for me so I'm going to be getting a bunch of my company minis um, Boston Design if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about look me up on Facebook um, I believe it's uh, Boston Design 2013 um, if you don't find that you can search that into your Facebook Boston Design 2013 you'll find it it'll be a uh, my Excalibur it's got the nuke symbol for can see it all the way right there it'd be that one that's the uh, cover picture uh, it's also got a picture of disc golf putting look me up like the Facebook page that's where I sell all my discs um, that's where a bunch of news is coming out um, that's where I sell my packages I get your guys' input from my company um, that's just my way of getting out to you guys another way I'm trying to get an eBay account set up so I can sell discs through that I'm trying to get next year, I'm trying to host my own tournament, uh, which would be awesome if I could get some guys to come out and uh, play disc golf or a tournament. Um, and then I also have a few bag updates, but I'm going to get back to the dynamic disc thing. Um, so I ordered two molds, um, a few of one and uh, a few of the other, I could say. I'm not going to give you specifics, that's what I want you guys to guess. Um, one's a misprint, one's a special edition or a limited run disc. Um, if you can figure out what they are, uh, congratulations. I'll give you another hint. They're, each disc is under $15 a piece, which is still pretty broad, but you can probably figure them out. Um, two of the discs I'm getting are black, and three of them I have no idea what they're going to be. Um, so if you guys can guess what they are, put a comment in the video, and I will look over them before I make the unboxing. And if you got it right, um, then I will announce your name and... Uh, Hopefully I can get you guys minis after I get them next week, hopefully. Um, I also wanted to come out with some bag updates. Um, you guys probably know, and I've been throwing the magnets forever. Um, those will eventually be getting out of my bag at, before the end of the year because I'm working on getting some dynamic disc judges um, and possibly even a warden or two. The new dynamic disc putter, it's the warden. Just like the judge, it's beadless, and it's got a little bit more over stability, which I say more the judge is like exact straight just like the magnets um so it's a zero zero the warden is zero zero point five so it's like almost exactly the same just beadless it's got glide four speed too so it's a great putter i'm excited to throw it um but i, I hopefully will be ordering them soon they are available at dynamic just not net um for other changes i've got seven rocks in my bag right now as of well uh, a few weeks ago um i'm still Trashing around my two rock threes, my Ontario rock, my R Pro rock, 
I have three DX rocks. I don't know if I really told you guys about these. There's one that's pretty brand new, one that's decently beat in, and my Ace Rock 3. I don't mind my DX rock that's super beat in, super light. Um, what else is new? Oh, my Suspect. I have had the Dynamic Disc Misprint Suspect, 172 grams. Um, I was kind of worried that it was too light to be super overstable. If you guys are getting the Suspect, and if you want to get max weight, go ahead. You will have a dang near impossible turnover disc. This thing, it's 172 grams, and I have no problems with it. Say it's super overstable, um, even in a headwind. Um, I absolutely love the disc. It's probably my favorite disc in my bag right now. I pull it out whenever I can, and even when I can't, I still try to throw it. Um, <sighs> Fairway drivers, I'm still rocking my two banshees, the special edition and the champion. I still got the champion T-Bird. Uh, the Champion Leopard and the Ladder 2 Goldline River. I don't know if that's changed at all. I took out my Champion um, CFR Monster, um, which was one of my drivers. I still have my two Valkyries, my Super Beat In Roller 1 or Turnover, and my Glow. Um, I took out my West Side Sword because I wanted to put my Champion Destroyer back in. This is a 168. Uh, the problem with the sword was it was too understable, so. Um, when I'd throw it, it'd flip right away, and yes, it's not an understable disc, it's made to be overstable, it's made to be decently like the Destroyer, well, the problem was it wasn't like the Destroyer, it would flip like nobody's business, so I now carry two Destroyers, my Star Destroyer and my Champion Destroyer, this thing glides a lot more, I can turn it over a little bit if I want to, it's 168, this is 175, so I've got my Heavy Wind and my Light Wind and Distance Destroyer, and my biggest change, I now carry three bosses in my bag. I used to have a stiletto. I took that out because I had the monster. Um, I used to have a, D, a D2. I took that out because I didn't see a need for it in my bag because I could throw it, it would turn over, and I really, I just wanted a few drivers that I could control that were the same mold. So that I have my max weight star boss, which is my overstable boss, just stays left. Um, then I've got a beat in. 170 gram boss. Uh, this is uh, beat in quite, uh, not quite a bit, but it's beat in enough that it'll stay straight. Uh, it'll keep a little hyzer and I can turn it over when I want to. And I got a 168 boss. Um, you guys have known this. This is my probably my favorite disc. I've been, I've gone the past three days with it and I've thrown, oh good, 420, 450 foot drives with them. It's insane. Um, I've been able to turn it over just a little bit, and it just glides forever. So those are my drivers now. Um, that has changed. I don't remember. Let's see. I had. I took out the monster and the D2. Um, oh, I also took out my KC Glow Pro Fear the Deer Rock. Um, I really liked it, but I didn't have a need for it in my bag right now. I'm trying to beat in this DX Rock. It had pretty much the same flight pattern. I'm just trying to beat it in. So it'll be a turnover rock eventually, kind of like this rock. And I'm hoping eventually the white rock gets to like the orange rock. And I'm hoping the orange rock eventually gets out of the bag. Or it just be, stays my super understable rock. Um, but that's what's up, guys. This is this is going to be my setup for a little while until I get those dynamic judges. Um, I'm excited to put those in the bag, but that won't be for a little while. Um, I'll have my minis. I'll be strutting my own mini. I'll get the, rid of the pandemonium. I'll throw it in my extra disc drawer and um yeah i don't right now i've been looking at getting uh, a new challenger just for an understable an overstable putter but i don't really need that right now because of my suspect um what else have i been looking at <clears throat> i don't know i've just been looking at putters a lot lately um but that's what's going on in my bag guys um not much is changing the only thing i carry in my bag now because it's getting colder and it's october in wisconsin Hand warmers and feet warmers. I use feet warmers for hands anyways. Um, carry a bunch of those in my bag. Um, starting to carry a flashlight because when I get off of work, it's usually starting to get a little darker, so I'll play a little glow, glow golf. Um, I have my glow, uh, glow mid-range, or not a glow mid-range, but I have a light LED on one of my mid-ranges uh, out of my bag, so I usually will carry that in my car in case it does get dark, so I can just throw that so I don't have to lose a disc. Um, like I also have... You know, a driver that's glow and a mid-range that's glow. Actually, I have two mid-ranges that glow. So, um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be fine if I wanted to go play glow round, but um, I don't have a potter yet that's glow, and 
Yeah. But uh, that's what's going on, guys. Um, check me out on Facebook, uh, Boston Design 2013. Um, like the page. As soon as I get 100 likes on my page, I'll be doing a gift, uh, disc giveaway. It'll be a brand new disc. Um, I'm, I have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be. I'm not going to tell anybody, but uh, I have an, an idea what it's going to be. Um, but again, that's after I get 100 uh, likes on my Facebook page. Um, if you guys want any discs that I have, go to my Facebook page. That's where you'll find everything I have. Um, comment, like my videos, uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. Um, I'm trying to get a lot more videos out about disc golf, and I just haven't been able to this season because work is overwhelming me, and I've got a lot of school to do. So <clears throat> I'm working on it. Um, I never got to do my putting tutorials, which I've been really disappointed about. Um, I just really hard to get these videos in when I've got so much going on. Um, cause even right now it's 11 o'clock at night and I need to get to bed for school and work tomorrow. So, um, that's what's going on guys. Um, the bag is pretty much set for right now. Of course, there's going to be a few more changes coming up. I still have, um, a whole set over there that I keep on changing in and out. When I find that I don't like this disc, I'll put another one in for it. Um, I also wanted to hit one more point. One of the reasons I brought in this almost brand new Star Boss and take out that uh, champion monsters because this thing it acts just like the monster if I take a little off because that way I can still throw it super far with the big hyzer and I don't have to gun my monster out <clears throat> I like the monster it was super overstable but if I can take a little off of my boss and it does the same thing why well, carry the monster stay with minimal molds um, so right now my drivers I have three molds for drivers boss destroyer Valkyrie I'm working on getting um, only two molds for my fairways, which would be the Banshee and the T-Bird. Um, trying to get rid of these, the two, uh, the Leopard and the um, the River. And my bag is pretty much simplified after that. I mean, I've got one suspect, seven rocks, the two putters that are the same, and then I've got a, uh, an upshot turnover putter. Um, but that's what I got going, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll hit you up next time. I'll have another video up in a few days. Um, but get your uh, comments in of what discs you think I'm going to be having and if you say um, if you guys have any you know videos you want me to put up let me know I know I've had a few remarks on YouTube that uh, what I carry in my bag is BS and um, I can't throw a 450 foot drive um, well I'm not lying to you guys I would not lie to you guys I know some people would be like oh yeah I can throw a 500 foot drive because they think it's manly well I'm not lying. I'm gonna have a few guys on. My, I'm gonna host a few guys, uh, a few local friends, um, in the. I'm gonna do some in the bags with them and hopefully get uh, some disc reviews with them, and um, really trying to get a full round re uh, recorded with them. And I'm trying to get my drives on video, because um, it is something I can do. And if you guys think it's bullcrap, okay, that's your thought. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.